Hey everyone, uh, it's Michael. Welcome back to Mean Pulse channel, The Virtual Investor. In today's video, we're going to talk about, you know, recent properties that we've purchased from wholesalers and three different ways we've made money on them. Uh, first one is going to be a buy and basically wholesale, buy and relist on the MLS as is for the most part. Second one is kind of more of a wholesale example where we bought and we're going to uh, relist on MLS after putting in just a few minor renovations after two weeks worth of work. And the third one is more of a, a fuller rehab where we put a lot more renovations into the property. Uh, so it's kind of a buy, renovate, and resell uh, example as well, just to give you a flavor of different ways of making money, you know, purchasing your deals from wholesalers. So with that, let's get started into some of the case studies. All right, the first property here is in uh, Snow Hill, North Carolina, so like Eastern uh, North Carolina. And again, this property was purchased uh, sent to us via a wholesaler. Um, I, I was uh, away on business and. He reached out to me about a deal he saw from one of my ads, uh, asking wholesalers to send us deals and reviewed the property. Uh, he was asking for $110,000 for his contract. I told him 90 would work for me and we agreed to it. Uh, you know, wholesaler had it under contract for 85, so he's got a nice 5K spread there for himself. And originally we thought we were gonna relist it for, you know, 124.9 and, and make a, a bigger profit. Um, and then our deal buyer would be a conventional loan buyer or a cash buyer. So how did the deal play out? So we ended up needing, uh, noticing one of the floors uh, was a little sloped. So we needed some uh, beam work repaired. So again, you know, we purchased for 90, we ended up having to put $950 into it to get that repaired uh, to alleviate foundation concerns that we're getting feedback from certain sellers. And then, you know, with transfer tax closing costs, we're all in around a 92K. Now we agreed to a conventional loan buyer recently at 115,000 and we know after paying, you know, real estate agent commissions and uh, closing costs on the other side, you know, we're going to net around $15,000. Uh, so not bad, you know, work for a few hours there. Um, just, you know, finding a local contractor that we was a referral from the agent for us. So we didn't have to do much uh, research there. And it's a simple problem to alleviate some of the uh, seller concerns that we had. So this is a good example of almost, you know, yeah, we did put some work into it, but it's essentially a buy and relist on the MLS for the most part with just minor renovations here to make it, uh, you know, more mortgageable uh, for this conventional loan buyer. So this is a one great strategy uh, to, to make money purchasing from wholesalers because, you know, me and Paul, we have the, the capability of what we call taking these houses down, actually purchasing them where most wholesalers get something under contract and they actually don't have the funds to buy it from, from the seller. Uh, so they have call it, you know, 30 days to find a buyer and essentially get it closed. So we were able to work with the wholesaler on this and you know close on, on the date as expected. And then um, we should be uh, settling soon on this property to realize our profits. Next example is property in Pennsylvania, um, about you know hour north of Philadelphia, where this is more of a wholesale example. Again, this wholesaler brought us a deal. Um, our all-in purchase uh, price plus you know, holding call, closing costs, et cetera, uh, were 162 and change. And, you know, we, we knew we needed minor updates to make it financeable. Initially, we were thinking we were going to spend around probably, you know, uh, you know, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars. Um, and then based on some feedback from the township, they wanted us to remove the above ground pool, which added to the cost, uh, et cetera. But we'll get into those numbers in a second. And ultimately, we sold it to a, an end buyer uh, via USDA loan. Uh, so this property already closed. And, you know, again, you know, our purchase price all in, we're at 62. We ended up spending uh, 11,200 on it. Uh, and then, you know, our holding costs, insurance, uh, electrical, um, you know, township inspections, et cetera, you know, to a little over 2000. So all in, we're at 176. We had, we had an offer right away on this one at 199.9, partially because, you know, most properties in that area are above 200. So this was a, a livable house that was under 200. Uh, so there's a lot of interest and demand there. And then, you know, with our buyer's investment of 176, you can see that, you know, after closing costs and paying agent commission fees there, uh, we netted just almost 15K. So again, two weeks worth of work type of deal for the most part and um, an easy uh, wholesale example on a quick way to make money on, you know, a wholesaler bringing you a deal. And then the last one is in uh, Laurenburg, North Carolina. So uh, this one's closer to the uh, South Carolina border. Uh, and then, you know, wholesaler brought us this property. Um, originally, you know, again, you know, we thought we were gonna buy, renovate and resell this property. Our all-in was 68.5, but, you know, we quickly, once we found a local agent and learned the area more, our, our strategy changed from a wholesale to a minor rehab model. 
uh, just because uh, we, we can make more profit on the deal uh, based on their feedback. Uh, we, we, you know, if we bought and resold as is condition, our numbers are slightly off. We would have made uh, just a few thousand dollars instead of like what you'll see here, um, almost over 30K on this deal. So, you know, this this property here, you know, we ended up again buying it. We're all in with closing costs and, and everything, uh, assignment fee at 68.5. We spent about 32,000 on it. And we redid a lot of things uh, such as a new roof, new HVAC, we replaced, uh, you know, all the receptacles and covers, you know, repainted the entire uh, house, uh, painted the kitchen cabinets. Um, so, you know, new hardware, new countertops, new flooring, uh, new replacement windows. Uh, so we, we, we did a lot of uh, re renovation on the property. Again, we, we found an all-star local agent uh, who uh, we told them what we were trying to do. They gave us several recommendations for different roofers, contractors, HVAC people, et cetera. We, we picked one of their folks and it, and it was a great, you know, team teamwork on uh, getting that done. And, you know, this is a good buy, uh, renovate and resell property from a wholesaler lead in North Carolina. So, you know, hopefully this video was helpful. It kind of explained to you three different ways to make money from buying from wholesalers. And if you got some value out of this, smash the like button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Me and Paul will gladly answer them. Thanks everyone and have a great day.